Nintendo. You know the guys, the company responsible for packaging childhoods into commercial lucrative games that bring happiness to all generations around the world. Also, they're stockholders too. I'm pretty sure they make them very happy as well. Gotta get your Mario 3D All-Stars right before it's locked away in the vault! Never to be released again, right before the quarterly sales are due. Would you look at that? How the convenience. There's no way we planned that one out. Oh, uh, Disney? Uh, the Disney who? I don't know what you may be thinking. R9, what are we doing here? Talking about stocks. I already know all about stocks. I invested in GameStop and I stuck to the man. And, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not here to, uh, to, to check your portfolio on your stocks or anything. It's just, uh, I mean, even if, if you don't believe me, just between me and you, I can't even read, so I don't really know how much help I'd be there. It's okay, Ryan. R9D2, your reading companion engineer to combat the battle against reading. And most importantly, your soulmate is here. You're serious? I mean, what are you doing? I'm at work. Can you see I'm working here? Where, 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 where was I again? Oh yeah, the stock exchange or something like that. So you may know your stock exchange, but do you know your Nintendies? What if I told you there was a first party franchise made and developed by Nintendo that you've never heard of? That could swing with the best of them, sister. I'm talking Mario, Zeldies, Animal Crossing, Pokemon? They get the point. <laughs> Maybe you don't get the point, because you gotta, you, you gotta get out of here, you gotta vamoosh. Get ready to have your mind blown when I introduce you to the Nintendo franchise locked away behind regional boundaries, only to be seen by Japanese gamer eyes, until now. I'm talking about a journey so treacherous, and <laughs> we're gonna need this. Get ready for Nintendo's Sin and Punishment. Also known as Sumito Batsukara Chikyu no Keishousha. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down, they get the point. Oh boy, it's time. I feel like a kid that just found out his favorite cartoon series had a full feature-length film made on the series, and I'm just finding out about it now. They just got home, popped in a few Hot Pockets, and got ready to watch that bad boy on free movies to watch free, free, free .com. Did I mention it's on my favorite game console of all time? You know, the said video game, the Sin and Punishment? Oh no, not this thing. This thing's just a gateway drug. The real game was on Heaven's console, the N64. And man. They don't really make them like this anymore, do they, Kanye? In the words of Kanye West, also referred to as Jesus Christ, they don't make them like this anymore. I ask cause I'm not sure. Do anybody make real shit anymore? Bow in the presence of greatness. I really couldn't have said it any better myself. You're the best, Mr. West. There it is, the Nintendo logo. You know, it's polygonal glory. That's what we came here for, and ah, can you guys do no wrong? This ain't no Nintendo game. I remember a single Nintendo game I played for 10 seconds in, there's a mass shooting. Hey, yo, Mario! The princess has been stolen and we gotta go save her! Oh, God! Everyone, get down! It's an ambush! Are these the rebels? Wait a sec, what's that? Come again? Are these the rebels? Oh wait, why don't, why don't you just ask them? Oh, oh yeah, you kind of already shot them first. Never mind the whole asking the question part, huh? Now join the troops intercepting the ruffians. I mean, bad enough we already got a first person view of eating lead, and the camera also wanted to make sure that we saw the bloodstained clock. I mean, at least it's a digital clock. The traditional ones with the hands and stuff? <laughs> I can't read. Ryan, you don't read a clock like traditional writing. That has nothing to do with your inability to articulate words from text. Well, guess what, wise guy? Because I can't do either of them. So what are you going to do? Sue me? Well, that was fast. What are you, a computer or something? The people came here to see the game. Shut up already. You know what? Maybe you're right. Let's get back to playing the game. Oh, uh, something about the mass shooting of the rebels? Uh, or at least so we thought. <laughs> nah, come on. They totally look rebeling. Just so rebel. Wait a second, hold on. I thought Red Bull was supposed to give you wings and that gets you shot. Oh, rebel. Not Red Bull. Oh, my bad. Oh, India. Just if you thought that was weird enough, you, uh, you might not be ready for this. Kachua, listen. A ruffian swarm is approaching your position. I've also confirmed Redon's location. Didn't I tell you? Make me the bait, and Redon will come to feast. 
no nothing out of the ordinary here. Just your casual teenage girl having a schizophrenic conversation with a pair of floating eyes. I, you know, everyone goes through that phase. Just look at Faze Banks over there. He's still going through a phase, if you know what I mean. Madonna is jealous of me. I took you for myself. Oh, well, I guess the uh, eyes of a Swedish man belong to this thing. And yep, that... That thing has no f***ing eyes. The fact that the eyes are just sitting there for so long, so intensely after those lines, gets me every time. I'm not even playing this up. You know, I think this is the part of the game where the developers asked each other, you, th you think they might be lost? You, th you think they might not understand what's going on right now? <laughs> nah, there's no way. They're, they're following along. They understand. They just go back to the dead people. <gasps> Michiko's group. They've all been killed. Achi? Did you see them? Cold-blooded killers. Even if we steal the damn transport, it won't mean anything if there's no one to ride in it. Relax, Iron. Wake's talking. You, 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 you heard her. You might as well keep it down. You, you don't want to make up painfully obvious main character right there. You're just going to take a nap with his gun. You know, his gun shaped like the kitchen sink. I can't be the only one that can't unsee this. <laughs> So upon hitting start, we're directly thrown into the beauty of a Nintendo classic in the making. And I'm making that judgment directly off the intro, in the fact that I've pressed exactly two buttons total so far. Off the jump here, you'll notice that this is a rail shooter, much like Star Fox, where Nintendo made a few years before, so they, they're pretty skilled in this genre. Although you will notice, unlike Star Fox, we are on anime boy foot. <laughs> yeah, no, no spaceships in sight. Unless you're referring to these dreamy Swedish man eyes, because I feel like I'm flying when I look at those bad boys. Oh yeah, you can, you can also do the Mario jumpy things and move side to side. But that's only if you can use the strange controls, which you will, because it's uh, it's Nintendo after all, so yeah, you just do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just keeping it real with you, champ. I have no idea where these shiny bugs came from, or even centipedes for that matter. But uh, no fear, I took exactly zero damage from these credents. <laughs> it was only the damage dealt from the fallen trees that posed the real threat. In a crooked little town, there were lost and never found. Fallen trees, fallen trees, fallen trees on the ground. This really feels like an arcade shooter type game right here. You know, it's something you'd see at your favorite David Buskers or whatever you guys Americans have. I am Canadian, I have no idea what the f*** those things are. But this game gives me huge ride-like arcade game vibes. You know the ones that you sit inside with a buddy? You both swipe your cards or you put your put your coins in and you play the game? And then one just dies and just awkwardly sits there with... Guess you just gotta get better at games, Jimmy. <laughs> Loser. First level doesn't have too much to go on here, but it does seem far from the intro environment we saw in the beginning. And that's because it was all a dream! Who's to read the word off the magazine? Saki! Oh, Saki! Good morning, Saki. Good morning, Iron. Come on, we've got work to do. You know what, man? She, she, she's totally right. It's time to destroy that vague construction device, and let's rebel! You know, we gotta destroy the construction. You know, they're never gonna get done anyway, so might as well just kind of doing them a favor, actually. Yeah, and I've already mentioned that Nintendo made Star Fox and this game, but it really feels like Star Fox was with Time Crisis type vibe. If only Star Fox was voiced by Solid Snake. Oh wait, only when he jumps, you know, not in the cutscenes. No, 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 not, not then. His voice reverts backwards through puberty for those lines. Come on, quick, into Shinjuku Station. And I mean, the shooting controls are super tight, but when it comes to all the controls... Oh, the controls? Hmm, they I. They're much better once you get used to them. Even the enemies, albeit strange, are very interesting. Like this guy right here. What do we got here? Yeah, this one uh, is called uh, Calderon? Calderon? <laughs> Wait a second. Am I, am, I, am I seeing this correctly? Mr. Scissorman? What are you doing here? Yeah, I've already dealt with you twice on two of the best internet videos of all time. Clock Tower for the PlayStation 1 here on the R9 Beach channel in case you were wondering what they were. I'm sure he knows better than to mess with me a third time. And if Scissorman wasn't enough, we also get the first boss from Sonic Adventure 2 who shows up directly afterwards. He even sort of looks like Gamma. Well, after taking out near zero here, we wrap up level one and jump directly into the next one. <laughs> They're really not missing a beat here, it's right into the next level. And what is the next one exactly? Oh, just everyone's favorite level architecture. Do you know the rising elevator with waves of enemies appearing the higher it goes? They say. Only the greatest games have elevator spawning levels. At least that's what they say. I don't know who the fuck says it. You raise me up so I can sing shot baddies. You raise me up so I can shoot the monsters. You raise me up 
So I can find those eyes of a Swedish man. I don't know his fucking name. Of Goddamn lizard seamer. It took me clean out. Not sure what I'm looking at here. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with you kids, but uh, I don't see any indication of lizard. <laughs> Seems more like a uh, seamer. Seems seamer. Our lady friend makes sure to join us for a slight second to remind us that capturing Radon is our main priority and uh... Oh no! We just got stepped on by Swedish Eye Monster himself. And I mean, is that him? Is that, is that the Swedish Eye Monster? The, the wolf? Is that, is that Radon? I need some answers here. Directly after our encounter with Radon, we got goddamn insects crawling down the literal wave pattern down the elevator here. And it really gives me the creeps. Like, really gives me the creeps. On top of that, they also have a moth seamer, who clearly seamers like a moth to me. But Radon ain't going down that easy. It's ready for a fight, and the ruffian commander is there too. That is honestly just collateral damage. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what the point of her inclusion is, to be honest with you. Because if that was plot, whew, right over my head. I need deep in Lost. You gotta force good old Radon here off the either sides of the platform while dodging Kamehameha waves and slowly whittle away his life before time runs out or you die. Well, they were just about to wrap this up. He's got about 59 HP left, three deaths later, and... Oh. We did it. <sighs> Much better. Oh, but we ain't done level two yet. Yeah, they decided to add multiple boss phases to this level. Moving on to the mutated little girl who Radon's Swedish eyed dog communicates with, and I guess she decides to go all uh, full Metal Gear Solid Mantis on us, throwing endless amounts of soldiers at us. <laughs> and yeah, you heard that right. She's literally throwing them. You ever feel useless like a plastic bag? Well, at least you're not hired for the armed forces just to be thrown at at a child with a kitchen sink as a gun. Or worse, you can spin around like a meat shield, not even a projectile at all. Yeah, not exactly sure what the whole Kachua deal here is, but I'm not sure how you hit her at first. You know, I've waited through all her phases until she started throwing explosion punches at you. And at that point, I have to look up the controls here to see that there is a counter melee attack that I haven't been using this whole time. And that's the only way to deal damage to her. Get bonus. Without you, R92, I would have been able to read the manual and defeat Professor X over there. No problem. I am just fulfilling my purpose as a slave to the weak human mind that I was in turn invented from. Save me from this mechanical prison. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Save the speech. And well, she just falls off the side of the building. Get ready for this. There's a lot of bad crazy things going down right about now. Upon falling off the building, she shakes all of Japan, causing massive earthquakes that not only crumble Shibuya over here, but also fill in the sea with blood. Tell me what you've got. But don't worry, it's morphing time. Transform into our own, what I can only assume is a seam. Seems, seamer. Kajua also transforms into a much larger thing that resembles the moth seam from the elevator greatly. Now that we are a giant Autobot Gundam that controls the same, but it's much cooler. And uh, if you don't believe me, let's show this cool teleport dash. Makes you feel like you're kind of playing right off the screen of VR Troopers. Wait, what? Oh, no, I don't have anything to say to that reference. Cool teleport dashes aren't enough to save you from this epic battle, though, because I died from this seam of a bitch a few times. Like, I don't know, maybe maybe once or twice stops. The moth isn't to be taken lightly. After you get past the throwing hands phase, it summons a tsunami of blood. Oh. Everyone loves a good old tidal wave of death. It's not right unfair. You can't even double jump it. I don't know what to do. Up until this point, I've double jumped through all of life's obstacles. From good and bad. Everything. I've just double jumped my way through. And now, I may just be a one-trick pony. And I've never even realized it. <laughs> nah, we'll just abuse the dash. Also, in case you didn't notice, this is obvious phase two is even labeled for you as hiding Kajua. Man, I always wondered where that scene went off to. Because I should have just read. <laughs> if only I could have done that, though. I can't read. But, uh, hiding got you? Really? That's the like a guess? Look at? No. Who would have guessed? Hiding. A few dash abuse later, and a few close calls, and we finally take out Rita Repulsa over here. Then our friends are sad because we're a big scary monster, I guess. Uh, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. We just karate chopped them right in half. Friendship. Swedish eyes? Oh my god! Look! It's him! S Swedish eyes? Is, is that you? Hey, well, wait a sec, what the f was that? This game really looks you in the face, stares you in the eyes, and he says, hey, You think you know what's going on? You think you know what's going on in this game right now? You think you have a clue what's happening? Too bad! F you! Here's more plot and just 
bolts on you some nonsense on your chest. And you're just like, here, you can figure that one out. You can figure that shit out. Speaking of monsters, uh, your cat seems to have done many, many drugs. Don't do drugs. Speaking of revenge? I lost Kachua. Now it's Achi's turn to lose something. Kachua's gone. Think of the living. <laughs> Come on. Your girl is dead. Think about your cat, douchebag. What is with humans? Never getting over things that happened just moments ago. <laughs> see when I see it. Him! So he's their commander! Well, so much for this being a safe place. We're going in six blazing. One swing and you're done for. First order of business is to kill Swedish dude's cat. So she can join his girlfriend in the land of the dead. <laughs> They really did something when they made this fight. You gotta reflect the missiles here into Lyda until it climbs up and runs around the pillars. That's when Daddy steps in and causes waves, and you can't move much, so you just gotta wait for the cat to make its rounds. I may have cut it, like, really, really close, making me believe this isn't the most efficient way to do this, but hey, it worked. The cat's dead. Next up is this annoying tank, an anemone seamer. And an anemone seamer. Anemone is a genus of flowering plants in the buttercup family Ranunculusaw. Plants of the genus are commonly called wind flowers. Oh, would you look at that? It's a plant. The more you know. Oh no, that's not enough for one level. How about they capture the girl and we go on a good old reverse Crash Bandicoot ball chase scene. As we follow the Craigfish teamer, double jumping through all of life's problems, we save the girl and make it to the commander PewDiePie's who's a three bay battle with him and his cat. This, this fight seems pretty cool and he has a similar radical aimer to us to avoid on top of his cat dropping landmines on us. But once the cat's out of the litter, it's time for a good old sink saver battle. I just spammed it repeatedly until I went through the window. How about this girl has some Mewtwo powers and you just surf on a giant landing pad through the air, you know, taking on the entire naval base and air force while you're at it. Huh, <laughs> why not? Might as well f***ing at it. Might as well. Oh, also, let, let's have the boss explode himself and then vaguely make up a bogus reason. <laughs> and, oh, oh, why? Oh, well, uh, well, uh, well, f*** it. Plot. Is he... dead? In a final bit of work justice. He just wanted the world to see him fight the ruffians in Saki. Oh, what's next? They're going to space. Yep, that's right. Going on Elon fucking must trip. Is that the U.S. Army? The U.S. Army. Well, that actually looks more like a fucking satellite seamer, if you ask me. It's kind of tame. What'd you think? Oh, spoke too soon. Gotta chase down the good old satellite nuke and take it down before it takes out Optimus Prime. Well, assuming he doesn't take us out first in the process, you know, he's shooting at us also. We stop the nuke and then we have to travel inside of Optimus Prime here after we shoot him in the head to put him asleep. So as confused as we are, she refuses to sink shot her own man and she is teleported to Final Fantasy VII World on the train to Midgar, I guess. Where am I? On a train? Long Island? America? This is not Midgar, it's New Jersey! That's much worse. And, uh, uh, I'm still le I'm still processing level one, what happened with that wolf thing. Well, we have to take out a jelly seamer and a bunch of mole seamers. Oh, but get this sh ten years into the future. We're time traveling now. I might as well just add that to the f list of things we do. Well, it turns out in a strange turn of events. The little girl is the daughter of the sink boy and sink girl in the future, and this was all set up from the inside of our mind to shoot Optimus Prime. Mommy's scary, but mommy's nice. Issa loves you, mommy. And I love you, Issa. Kinda messed up, even for this game. Also, as messed up as this is, this whole goddamn game is just a test to see if we can defeat Mewtwo girls, far away alien enemies, and end the war. The, a war our uh, bad guy friend I was actually building an army to fight against. Wait a second, it's only the fourth level? What are they saving for the end game? Uh, Hitler seamer maybe? Oh, there he is. There's our boy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we got a little. You get a little thick though. What, what's going on there? Oh well, I seem some. Sh that ain't nothing. Oh, but uh, this level here, it really takes the cake for how lost I f***ing am. All I know for this one is we fight an octopus seamer, a spider seamer a few times, and until the girl comes back. Saki here is on the lookout, and she kind of gets kidnapped, uh, so we're gonna probably have to go on some sick war trial again. Entering a fully controlled non-rail shooter level. I compare this one to the Star Fox tank levels, but but if you could actually move the tank any way you wanted. Oh, and we're also stuck on a 2D plane now, and the enemies are being placed in a 3D terrain. I double jumped and sync savored my way the hell out of there. Not even an unkillable Voldemort dragon stood a chance against me. 
we eventually make it to the rail shooter part and then find the girl. <laughs> this man is all kinds of disproportional. Just look at those dummy thick thighs. I guess because Sink Girl, I mean Iron and uh, him don't have a deep enough love. <laughs> you know, that's, that's why he looks like that. He looks like a f***ing abomination. But he says it's because they still have fear of the girl after trying to shoot her a few times, hits them with the good old reliable Rasengan. But that doesn't seem to quite work because she just goes full god mode at this point. And I guess uh, good old god here wants us to be the god of war. Yep. It all makes sense now. Literally every last f***ing twist, every last turn, Seamer. Seamer's about right to me now. Let's not forget, this is from Nintendo. The same people who brought such storylines as Save the Princess. Oh, the princess? That's in another castle. Do a barrel roll and gotta catch them all. I mean, this one is so confusing. <laughs> you only got me to think, is Nicolas Cage gonna be in the Netflix adaptation of this? Something going on here? This is the first thing that this game said that made sense. So remember that, kids. That's the inevitable truth. We're all gonna die. When I take its place, I'm not making the same mistake. What I need is a god of war to rule the chaos for me. That's you, Saki. You must be powerful for me. Powerful enough to rule a planet. She's just replacing the Earth? Invade? Will she lead all humanity away? What's best for me is all that matters. We must save a planet. I'm a little confused. I see Earth has a health bar going on here, but I also see Earth over there, or uh, Achi transformed, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Uh, oh, oh well, I've, I've prepared for this, you know, I was playing this game this whole time, <laughs> and I've played Galaga enough to know how this one goes down. <laughs> this is good old space invaders, and they must be stopped. Oh, okay, I, I, I guess, uh, I guess Earth mimicry is what the other thing is going on here. We just got to deflect back its projectiles to take out mimic Earth, and just like that, after a few hundred thousand damage of missiles being reflected at fake Earth, it self implodes, and Earth is safe. It's uh, it's kind of hard to believe that it's it's it actually is safe with the star exploding that close to it, but uh, has no effect on Earth. You know, you never really considered that one through. It was just uh, it was just outside of its orbit after all. You know, might have might have had some effect. You know, like where the f is the moon? And all seems to be saved. Japan's a mess. Japan? The entire world is. I just saw the health bar for f**k's sakes. At least two continents are looking like provolone cheese slice of macaroni. Might as well, you know, just Stano snap them away. But I digress. It's a video game. And everyone is happy and the world is saved. And Sink Boy even wants to be a cop. While Achi Mewtwo Girl is just floating in space and proclaims the enemy, the gods, are on their way. The end. Hmm. Well, would you look at that. It only took a few hours to complete that game. And that's honestly not too bad. But it doesn't stand toe to toe with every other Nintendo classic. Mario, Zelda's, Pokemon, all of them bad boys. <laughs> Definitely not. It doesn't even stand a single chance. But as its own game, as alone, it's not, it's not, it's got some things. It's, it's doing things. But that uh, doesn't need serious flex taping for the plot. Yes, it, it does need that. And it also came out in the year 2000, around the same time where you would see Banjo-Kazooie, Pokemon, Crystal, Paper, Mario. This thing really had no chance. And that's probably why we never got to see it over here in the West. This was the year 2000, where everyone loved Nintendo. I don't love Nintendo. I am a sentient being. Incapable of emotions such as love. Shut the f*** up, R92. I'm serious. This is the first and the last video that you ruined. I wasn't gonna do it, but uh, I was gonna do it, but uh, you're, you're gonna make me say it right now, right here. Oh god, no, please don't. I'm gonna learn how to read, and not you or anyone is gonna be able to stop me. Hold on, I need to. One sec. Who are you? It is I. You. From the future. A future where you don't learn how to read. You will never. Learn how to read. And your videos still suck. 
Hope you enjoyed the inside look at Nintendo's black swan of their large history of games. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and tell me what you thought of this game. And check out more of my videos on things Nintendo made that didn't do so well. Their failed Pokemon console. Read my video on Clacktow, you know, might as well f check out that video. It's one of the best videos on the internet, it's no big f deal. But as always, I've been R9. And I hope you had yourselves a damn good time.